What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free channel collective reading for all signs, cuts through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate with rest. Free general collective reading for Sonic Cancer. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. Um, I'm keeping my subscriber count private now um, to just to let everybody know. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, just saying, just saying, just saying. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess 5 The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. Okay, so um, I received a couple channelings in as I was meditating on your energy for your bonus reading. This is bonus reading for July of 2022. This can resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your charts. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs for additional message or messages if um, if message or messages apply for you. Um, just saying, just saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, Heavy Cancer and Libran energy is what I heard. Um, for some of these Cancer and Libran um, energies, um, they are about to collaborate together. I heard some a mafia hit. Some, excuse me, some readers, and there was another one. A mafia hit readers and um. Oh um um. I forget what it's called. Uh, police, um, what are they called? Buddy system or were there the two police officers together? Um, teamwork makes the dream work. Were there the, you know, the two officers that go together on a traffic stop or what have you, what have you, what have you. I saw, I saw like a quick little vision of two officers walking up to a home um, after I, I heard it. And, um, so uh, it's like a collaboration of two officers working together as a team, basically. Um, whatever that's called. I don't know. I'm not an officer of the law. I've never desired to be an officer of the law. I don't want to be an officer of the law. Um, I respect the officers of the law for what they do. Thank you, sirs and ma'ams, if you are an officer of the law and you watch my channel. But I would never want to do it. And that's just the truth. Never, ever, ever. But it's uh, whatever that's called. With the teamwork, with the two officers that go like the buddy system together, um, I'm assuming to protect themselves um, and not have to go into the line of duty by themselves, but whatever that's called. So one, it's mafia energy. One, it is reader energy, Libra and Cancer energy. So mafia hit energy uh, sounds like a Libra and a Cancer is about to do a mafia hit together or collaborate to get other people to do a mafia hit together. For one, it is um, reader energy, so uh, Libra, in, uh, Libra energy reader and a Cancer energy reader collaborating together in some kind of collaboration, reading, uh, tarot reading, and some kind of police officer, officer law energy, whatever that's called. Um, like I said, I saw a quick little vision of two officers basically going up and um, to a house, to a home. Um, I'm assuming on a call, so um, whatever that's called, the teamwork of the officers, however that resonates, okay? Spear messages you have reflected. A cancer judge is about to get communication from another fire sign judge soon. This fire sign judge has a huge fire lit under their ass. And they're about to make some shit roll. Know this. A cancer judge a cancer judge is about to get um, communication from another fire sign judge, I heard. Um, they've got a huge fire lit under their ass, and they're about to uh, make some shit roll, is what I heard. And I heard make some shit roll. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, cancer judge. I have been pulling cancer judge in my readings for forever. Um, Y'all know I've been reading for two and a half years. I've been pulling a cancer judge in for a hot ass minute. So whoever this cancer judge is, it could be, I feel like it could be masculine or femme cancer judge. I didn't hear if it was masculine or femme cancer judge, uh, but it is cancer judge. And there is a fire sign judge, Aries Leo Sag judge. I heard that's about to contact a cancer judge. 
um, soon and quickly. Soon and quickly, I heard. They're about to contact this uh, cancer judge soon and quickly. And they're about to make some shit roll. Soon and quickly. So you plug it in how it resonates, cancer judge. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's happened yet, but it sounds like it's about to. Uh, it sounds like they're about to contact you, sir, ma'am. So you plug it in how it resonates, cancer judge. A Libra masculine officer of the law, dirty cop, is about to be uh, caught soon. Drug dealing. He lives in your community. Know this. A Libra masculine officer of the law is about to be uh, caught um, drug dealing. Um, he lives in your community. Know this. So for one of you cancers, you can be a masculine or femme cancer. You plug it in how it resonates. But there's a Libra masculine officer of the law, dirty cop energy. I heard he's basically about to be caught for drug drug dealing in his community. Sounds like somebody's been investigating him or they're about to be investigating him. And basically his ass is about to be caught. Uh, and he will be terminated. And jailed. And he will be terminated and jailed is what I heard. And he will be terminated and jailed. Cancer. So just know this um, dirty cop, Libra masculine, um, dirty cop is a drug dealer on the side apparently. Um, and he's about to be caught and jailed. And honestly, he should. He should, he should, he should. Um, because that's abusing an authority figure as a police officer. He's probably uh, got contacts as an officer and gets his, um, I I'm sure he shows favoritism to his drug dealing people. Uh, and that's just the truth. And that's sad. That's sad, that's sad. Heard he's about to be caught and arrested. And he should be. And that's just the truth. All right, we have storm warning, belonging, force, short journey, dark woman, dealings, a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair, flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. All right. Number 10 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 10, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 10, also 10s are completions of cycles. So, completions of cycle energy, you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have us like this. Well, an owl. For some, you could be dealing with a water sign or another air sign. If you are, they could have, um, I'm sorry, another water sign or an air sign. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun moon, sun, moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Haven, Jupiter charts. If you are, whale. A class action lawsuit is about to become very significant in a cancer's life relating to hidden camera, four-year camera activity of a family's home in the past. Okay, a um, class action lawsuit relating to hidden camera, four-year camera activity in a family's home in the past is about to become very significant in a... Um, Cancer's life. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, class action lawsuit energy. So that's basically when a bunch of people get together and file a lawsuit in a group um, against person, people, place, or organization, or what have you, what have you. Um, that's really sad. That reminds me of Secret 7. But if that is the original Secret 7, somebody, please let me know so I can um, file a lawsuit on the assholes. Because nobody's ever, still to this day, nobody's ever told me there was a damn hidden camera in my house. And that's just the damn truth. Well, heads up if anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. 
Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Another cancer. They're about to get a huge fire lit in their ass very, very, very soon. Ooh, another cancer is getting a huge wake-up call. They're about to get a huge fire lit under their ass very, very, very soon. You plug in and how it resonates. You might be the one. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. One may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your situation. Story, not anybody else. But another uh, one of you, another one of you cancers is getting a huge ass wake up call. And basically, um, you're about to get a huge fire lit under your ass. Sounds like you're going to take some action on something because you got a fire lit under your ass, or you're about to be. Well. An Alaskan cruise is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. And an ill elder, elderly mother. An Alaskan cruise and an ill elderly mother is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. So some kind of Alaskan cruise energy. I think you might see whales on this Alaskan cruise. Uh, or at least I hope you do. Um, Alaskan cruise. I've always wanted to go on Alaskan cruise. And that's just the truth for real for real. Um, never been, but always wanted to go. Just saying, just saying. Um, one of you guys is about to go. Congratulations. Take me, take me, take me. Just saying. Um, and for one, um, an ill elderly mother is about to become very significant in your life. So I feel she might be the whale in this energy. Um, in this situation, I think she might be the whale. She's very wise. Um, uh, whales are protectors and Guardians of the sea, I think she might have guarded you as a child, a tr like the way a true mother should be, not negligence and child abuse and out there partying until the cows come home with their boobs flying out and kids not um, kids not being fed for three days and having to fend for themselves for a week while their mother goes out on vacation in a different country or state or to the club. Just saying, just saying. Um, a true protector, a true guardian of you. Um, and that's what I feel. You plug it in how it resonates. But an ill elderly mother, whether she really was a true whale to you or not, however that resonates. Owl. A cancer is about to get very significant communication from a private detective soon. Life-changing information. A cancer is about to get very significant um, communication from a private detective soon. Life-changing communication. So life-changing communication from a private detective. Um, this is your private detective energy. They're very wise. They've been using their eyes and collecting evidence with camera or voice recorders or what have you, however they do it. I don't know. I'm not a private detective. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, this is your private detective energy. They're very wise, very knowledgeable, and I think they have evidence. I think that's another reason why they're pulling up as the owl energy. I think they have evidence, and they're about to come um, share it with you cancer. I feel for some you could have hired this private detective or um, someone else hired their private detective, but um, private detective energy. They're about to come share with you this information they have collected or gathered or is collecting or gathering. RICO crimes are about to become very significant in cancer's life too. RICO crimes are about to become very significant in cancer's life, too. So some kind of RICO crime energy, which is organized crime, um, for anybody who doesn't know. You can Google RICO crime if you're not familiar with what it is. But um, RICO crime energy is about to become very significant in cancer's life. So um, organized crime, basically, white collar organized crime is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. Now, I feel you could be the one that's in this white collar organized crime. Or you could be 
helping break up the white collar organized crime. Maybe you work for the feds or state level or something of that nature. Or you're on the outside, like the outskirts and learning of this RICO crime, organized crime. Or you know somebody that's about to basically get their crap um, handed to them and being exposed for RICO crimes. How that resonates, Cancer, um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Or you could be that Cancer judge. Maybe you are connected either in a positive or negative way to this RICO crime, white collar, organized crime energy. Only you know your situation is storing at anybody else, Cancer. Storm warning. There is about to be huge chaos in a family's life. Huge. Incest situation for one. For one, mistress energy exposed. There is about to be huge chaos in a um, family's life. I don't think it's your family, uh, Cancer. I think it's somebody you're connected to this family. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For one, it is um, incest energy, and for one, it's um, mistress energy exposed. So I think one of you guys' family members might be a mistress, and it's been exposed. Or somebody you're connected to is a mistress, and it's been exposed. Or um, like the secret affair is being exposed um, is what I'm feeling. And for one, it's incest energy, so that's disgusting. Anybody doesn't know, incest is basically... Um, um, sex in the family, like family member sexual relations. It's really gross. Um, I don't feel it's you, but it could be somebody you're connected to. Cancer, you plug it in, how it resonates. It could be a coworker, a family, a friend, um, a community member, what have you, what have you, but some kind of incest exposed and um, some kind of um, mistress energy exposed. I might be a single Mama, but I'm telling you right now, I would never, ever, ever be anybody's mistress. Um, period, point blank. I've been pulling in this um, very wealthy, masculine Aquarius that has a mistress. Um, and his mistress is basically about to turn it around on him because she has a very heavy social media presence. She's about to blast it all over the land, like their city and outside their city via social media and word of mouth about her being the rich man's mistress, basically. So it could be that. Maybe you're connected to these people, but that's a hot mess ass express, and I'm just being for real, and I'm serious. Belonging. A very messy Scorpio is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. For one, you're going to jail him. For one, you're about to cut him off. Oh, okay, so messy, scorpionic, masculine energy, if this resonates for you guys. Um, for one, you're about to jail him, so I think you're a judge. Um, I think you're a judge. Um, yeah, I have the authority to jail, so I think you're a freaking judge. Um, did you plug it in how it resonates? Um, however that resonates, Cancer, I think you might be that Cancer judge that's about to jail, jail him. It's a Cancer, um, I'm sorry, it's a messy, Scorpio, masculine energy, messy. And obviously, and he's a criminal too. Um, heard for one, you're about to jail him. And um, that's, that's sad. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. That's sad. Um, he's, he has Scorpio in any aspects. It's his chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. And for one, you're about to block him. You're about to block him. So um, you're, you're tired of him. He's messy. You're tired of him. You don't want him uh, interrupting your peace or your priorities or your goals or your aspirations. And you're about to block his ass. And I don't blame you. Who wants messy ass people up in their life? Not eat me, said the little red man. And that's just the damn truth. Belonging.
My family reunion is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. And a date. A family reunion and a date is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So belonging in this aspect is a family reunion energy. Um, if you like those kind of things, um, I've separated from my toxic ass family years ago. So I don't do family reunions and that's just the damn truth. But some of you guys, I know you like them. So um, family reunion, if you want to go, you're going to feel a part of it, feel happy. Yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. That's for situation one. For situation two, um, it's a date. So you are happy you're about to get invited on this date. Maybe you feel a part. Maybe you feel a connection. Maybe your heart space is about to open. Um, belonging energy. You're going to feel a part of this date. Feel connected. Feel your heart space is connected. Um, feel a part. Um, I don't feel you're going to. Uh, like text a friend and feel like, you, you know, the whole fake excuse of, oh, my daughter's sick. She just texts me. I got to go. Sorry. Like halfway through the date because you're bored as hell or they creep you out or what have you, what have you. Um, I feel you might go through the whole date, um, whoever that resonates with. Course, short journey. A trip to your mother's house for one, a trip to your father's house for one, and a trip to your grandparents' house for one is about to become very significant. They do not live far from you. Okay. So for one of you guys, a trip to your mother's house, for one, a trip to your father's house, and for one, a trip to your grandparents' house is about to become very significant. I heard they do not live far from you. So short journey is the mother, father, or the grandparents not living far from you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For one cancer, you have fell back into prostitution. And you it's really smart to get out now. Get out, get out, get out now. Because they are about to suck you in in a huge ass way. Okay, I heard for one of you cancers, you have fell back into prostitution. It sounds like you were previously in a prostitution, but you're not in it anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, you were in prostitution in the past, but you have fell back into it. So you fell back into the same cycle, basically. Um, it sounds like you were in prostitution, you got out of it, and now you're back into it. So they sucked you back into the same cycle, whoever they is. They are, rather. Um, but you're back in. You're back into the same cycle. You're prostituting again. I heard it'd be smart to get out and get out quickly. So with the eight of wands energy, with the five, five, five change energy, quickly, because if you don't, it's about to suck you in in a huge ass way. Um, drugs are involved in this. Drugs are involved in this is what I heard. So drugs are involved too. So it's not only prostitution. And you're not only paying. Uh, someone's paying you for you to have sex with them. But I think they might be giving you drugs. Or you're selling them drugs. Or they're selling you drugs. Or something of that nature. Somehow drugs are involved with this too, Cancer. Um, you can be a mask or a femme cancer, you can be a gigolo, or you can be a femme prostitute. But however that resonates, and for some, I feel you could be this person. Um, or maybe your prostitute is this person. You plug it in how it resonates, but I don't feel, I feel you are a femme prostitute. I feel you're either a femme prostitute or a masculine gigolo. Um, but how that resonates, um, you have fell back into it. You fell back into it. You were not... You prostituted, you got out, and now you're back in. Heard if you don't get out soon, they're about to suck you back in. Storm warning. This is your warning here, man, from the spiritual universe. Um, I heard drugs are involved. So I think they're selling you drugs or you're selling somebody else drugs or somebody's giving you drugs to make you so inebriated. You don't know what the hell you're doing. You're going to go in um, 
and just have sex for money. May I feel for some they might be giving you ex ecstasy because um, ecstasy for anybody doesn't know it it really overstimulates your senses and it makes everything feel like super 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 good. So um, when you take X like and you have sex, I've taken ecstasy one time. I was like eighteen years old, and that's the truth. I take an ecstasy one time, but I'll never forget how it made me feel. My older sister gave it to me. Um, and like I said, I was like 18, but I'm 38 now. I would never take that shit. But my point is, when you take it, it makes your senses overload. It makes everything feel so, so, so good, i.e. sex. And sex already feels good if you do it the right way. So when you take X, it makes it overload. Sensory overload it makes it feel so, so, so good. So I feel for some of you guys that somebody might be giving you ecstasy. I didn't hear they were, but I feel they might be to tempt you back into it. And I think that's what's going to cause the storm warning. I heard you need, you need to get out now or it's going to, um, they're going to suck you back in. So I think somebody's giving you drugs, cancer. And I feel for a lot of you guys, your femmes. And you could have, um, I think you might have dark hair or dark complexion, possibly. Um, and I'm serious. Yeah. You plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. But you got the storm warning card. As your warning from the spiritual universe. Of course, you can listen to the spiritual downloads or not. But this is your life we're talking about here. This is whoever this is, is at least for one of you guys' life. If you want the life of prostitution and drugs, then of course you can keep keep on going. But if you don't, spiritual download was it'd be smart to start not, stop now. And get on a path, on a different path. Otherwise, you're about to have some chaos and conflict here. Storm warning. You plug it in, how it resonates. Belonging. Mafia energy coming very, very, very strong in a cancer's life. Very strong. Oh my God, mafia energy coming very, very, very strong in a cancer's life, very strong. So some kind of mafia energy. Um, now, I feel that could go in a positive or a negative sense, cancer. Um, you have to plug this mafia S energy in, however it resonates, if it resonates in a positive for your life. Um, but some kind of mafia energy, it could either go in a positive sense or a negative sense. You plug it in, how it resonates. Dark woman, dealing with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. An Aries feminine is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. For some, it's your baby mama. For some, it is a past friend. She's about to betray you in a huge way. Okay, I heard an Aries fem is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. For some, the, uh, some of you guys, this Aries fem is your baby mama. So, um, I think she could have dark hair or dark complexion. Um, and for some, she is a past friend of yours, a friend of me. So, basically not a real friend. Um, she could have 10 of swords, 20 swords, 30 swords, swords in the damn back. I feel she could have dark hair or dark complexion. She could have Aries in any aspects of her, of her chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hand, Jupiter chart. She plug in how it resonates. Cancer. Um, some is your baby mama. Some is a friend of me of the past. So, um. Not a real friend, basically. And I feel she can have dark hair or dark complexion. For some, this Aries feminine is blonde. Caucasian. For some, this Aries fem is a blonde and Caucasian. So for some of you guys, this Aries feminine is a blonde. So she has blonde hair and she is Caucasian, so she's white like me. So you plug it in how it resonates, um, whether she's your baby mama or a friend of me of the past, cancer. A baby shower is about to come very significant in a cancer's life. A baby shower is about to come very significant in a cancer's life. So you plug it in how it resonates, um, cancer.
And a cancer is about to find out a Libra has another child. So many children. Libra feminine. And a cancer is about to find out a Libra femme has another child. So many children is what I heard. Oh, dear God. Whoa. She's been busy, huh? So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear God. So a cancer, you can be a masculine femme cancer. You can have cancer in any aspects of your charts. Um, I feel this is your Libra femme energy. She can have Libra in any aspects of her charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, haven, and Jupiter charts. But I heard you're about to find out she has um, another child. So many children. And for one, she's pregnant with so many kids. And for one, she's pregnant with so many kids. So for one, she, you're about to find out this Libra Femme has a ton of shit, shit ton of kids, basically. And I don't think you realize she did. Um, I'm feeling a lot of kids. I'm feeling like three or three plus kids, Cancer. Um, I didn't hear specifically how many kids, but I'm feeling three or three plus kids. Um, I mean, I have two. For me personally, I have two teenagers, but I'm thinking a lot of kids is like three or three plus. Um, and I'm serious. How many ever kids she has? But and for one, she has she's pregnant now and she has a lot of kids. So I'm thinking three or three plus kids with pregnancy, current pregnancy. I don't know, man. I have two kids and I say to myself, so I don't know. I think this Libra Femme, uh, whether she's currently pregnant, gestated with child, and has three or three plus kids, or she is currently not gestating with child, and she has a lot of kids, so three or three plus kids. I think she has dark hair and or dark complexion. You plug it in, how it resonates. Blue disappointment in a friend or lover. A meeting, prostitution meeting is about to go wrong in a huge way. A prostitution meeting is about to go wrong in a huge way. It's about to seriously backfire and the police are about to get called. There will be arrest. A prostitution meeting is about to go uh, backfire in a huge way. Dear God. The police are going to be called and there will be arrest is what I heard. So storm warning, uh, chaos and conflict energy, that's terrible. So some kind of prostitution meeting. Um, it sounds like somebody's about to meet to hit a trick. And I'm not trying to be crass. I'm just being for real. Somebody's about to meet to hit a trick. Um, I just don't know how to say that. And that's just damn true. Somebody's about to meet up to spin a trick. I either client. Um. And when they do, something's about to happen. It might be this person about to meet up to spin a trick. One of you guys is a prostitute in here. One of you guys, I don't think this is you. I think you're about to learn about this. You might be the police that are about to be called to this trick meeting about to go to, go wrong. Trick meeting about to go wrong. I think my title is trick meeting about to go wrong. Spinning a trick going wrong? I mean, hell. Well, I mean, what? Just saying, just saying. But how that resonates, the spinning a trick is about to go wrong, basically. This could be your prostitute about to spin a trick going wrong. I heard the police is about to get called. I feel for some, you could be the police about to be called on this spinning a trick going wrong situation. And I'm just being for real. Or you could be this judge that I'm pulling in. But how this resonates, somebody's about to spin a trick and it's about to go wrong. Whether it's this person or somebody else with dark hair or dark complexion. Um, and the police are going to get called and there will be arrest, I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, for some, maybe your ex could be the trick spinner. I don't know why I think that. I didn't hear that. I just kind of feel that for some of you guys. I feel for some, your, trick, your, friend, your ex could be a trick spinner, i.e. the prostitute. Or the gigolo. Because we have disappointment in a friend or lover. So I feel for some 
and I didn't hear this. I just intuitively feel this. I feel for some, your ex is the trick spinner that's about to get arrested. And I am just being for real. I don't know how else to say that. I am being for real, for real. I don't know why I feel that, but I do. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. You wanted to belong to this ex. If it is your ex about to get arrested as a trick spinner, but they chose prostitution. And I feel for some, this is your ex about to get arrested as a trick spinner. And I'm just being for real. There's about to be a huge investigation, huge investigation into a black magic coven at the past. It's about to shock the hell out of a cancer. And for one cancer, they're going to be so ill, dark arts practitioner, they're about to pass over to the other side. Try to put heavy work on a light side spiritualist. Okay, I heard there's about to be a huge investigation into a black magic coven. It's about to shock the hell out of one of you cancers. So for one of you guys, um, I guess you didn't think there would ever be an investigation into a Black Magic Coven um, of the past, but there is about to be. And there is going to be action. Great action. A lot of information is going to be found. And there's going to be action, great actions. A lot, a lot of information is going to be found. So one of you guys, I think you live in the community of the Black Magic Coven. Um, it sounds like a disbanded Black Magic Coven, and I've been pulling in this disbanded Black Magic Coven in my readings for a hot-ass minute. There was a Coven, 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 Coven with Secret 7, now it's disbanded. So I think it's the disbandment of the Secret 7 Coven, to be honest. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. But however that resonates, there is a disbanded Coven in the universe, and that's just the damn truth. Um, but whether it's Secret 7 disbanded Coven or not, there is going to be great action on this, I heard, because there's going to be a lot of evidence found. One of you guys, I don't, I think you live in the community where the COVID has disbanded, and basically, um, you never thought there'd be an investigation, and there's about to be. For one, I think you might investigate this COVID. You have to plug it in how it resonates, but I think you're about to be disappointed. Maybe you know somebody that was in this COVID and it's disbanded now, and you're disappointed in them, um, is what I'm feeling. And for some of you guys, it could be this person that was in the COVID with dark hair or dark complexion, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, um, Cancer. For some, it could be that Aries Fem, possibly, because you're pulling in heavy Aries Fem and Libra Fem energy, or it can be any other sign. You plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. An officer is about to be shot in the line of duty soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. For one, you're another officer that's going to respond to this call. Oh my God, that's terrible. I heard an officer is about to be shot in the line of duty soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. And for one, you're about to be an officer that's about to um, respond to the call. So you're about to be an officer that's about to respond to the call. Um, in the line of duty. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, when the officer um, is shot in the line of duty. So you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. Wow, my condolences to uh, whoever is about to respond to this call of the officer about to get shot in the line of duty. And my condolences to the officer that's about to get shot in the line of duty. That's, um, that's terrible. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. That could be storm warning too. That's really terrible. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. All right, I didn't. Number 49 is very significant. 44, 42, 45. Number 49, 42, 44, 45 could be very significant numbers, uh, or I heard they were. 49, 42, 44, 45. It could be a possible age of you or any other significant name, uh, number um, in your life. It, I feel for some it could be your age or somebody you're connected to's age or any other significant number in one's life. We have 42, 44, 45, 49. So you plug it in however that resonates. If that resonates for you, cancer. Uh, Scorpio Warlock is about to go down in a huge ass way. He never thought he would. 
and he is the Scorpio Warlock is about to go down in a huge ass way. He never thought he uh, would, but he is. Um, his energy is about to be depleted in a huge ass way. Huge way. In a way he would have never expected. His energy is about to be depleted in a huge ass way. In a way he would have never expected. So Scorpio Masculine Warlock energy. So he practices on dark arts. Um. He uses the dark side, basically. Hold on one second, you guys. I apologize. Hello? Hello? I'm not interested. Please take me off the list. Okay, I apologize. Um, so, yeah. So, I heard a Scorpio masculine warlock. He's about to, um, he is about to go down, basically. Um, it sounds like health is about to go down. Um, I heard um, his energy is about to be deplete, uh, depleted in a huge way. Um, so, I think he was energy sharing off one person or two plus people. For some, I feel he could be energy sharing off you, possibly. But, um, however that resonates, whether he was energy sharing off you or somebody else, um, his energy is about to be depleted in a huge ass way, negative way. He practices on the dark arts. He uses, uh, conjures up dark entities and demonic forces basically to make himself go up in the energetic space. Um, but he is about to go down health wise. I mean, like energy wise, and I feel health wise. Um, I, I do. I feel, uh, that's exactly. Well, I heard that. He is about to, in the spiritual realm, he's about to. For some, you could be this person. You could be a cancer that this. You could be this person as a cancer and you could see his health or his energy about to go down. But, you know, health is wealth. So energy is health. So if his energy is about to be depleted, his health is about to go down. And I'm just being for real, for real. Um, he could have Scorpio in any aspects of his charts. He's very heavy in the social, social media and public eye. Very heavy. Huge attention seeker. He's very heavy in the uh, social media and public eye, huge attention seeker. So he has a social media platform or platforms. For some, I feel he could have a business on social media. I didn't hear he did, but I feel he could. But he's very heavy in the public eye. He might have a job out in the 3D and social media platform, kind of like I used to do for forever. When I back when I worked at um, American Health Par Partners, if y'all remember that, I did both. I had a full-time job. I raised my kids full-time and I did my platform full-time, if y'all remember that. Right now, I'm just doing this full-time until I can go to my custody battle and then move the hell out of here because this place is fucking great, great. And that's just the truth. But um, I feel he could do that possibly, but you plug it in how it resonates. He could have Scorpio in any aspects of his charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. A Cancer Masculine is about to contact a Taurus in a huge ass way. A huge wake-up call here. Huge. Okay, I heard a Cancer Masculine is about to contact a Taurus Masculine. Um, soon and quickly. Soon and quickly. So a Cancer Masculine is about to contact a Taurus Masculine soon and quickly. A huge wake-up call here. So you, um, Cancer Masculine, you're getting a huge wake-up call. And you're about to contact a Taurus Masculine soon and quickly for some reason. Whatever that is, I'm not sure. All right. Only you know your story now, anybody else. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day. Namaste.